Green Power is inspiring because it just puts young people together and gives them a real world challenge, you know, designing things, making things and competing here on the day. As a result, you get a far greater, richer learning experience, which is better for encouraging students into engineering. You get to, the chance to race and uh, make your own car and it's really fun. It's a great atmosphere, competitive. This event really installs, I think, the best in everybody. I think that it gives us an, uh, an amazing ability to express our engineering capabilities and to drive these cars, which we all find really fun. It's a great atmosphere. You can see everyone, everyone's got their banners, everyone's, you can see some people have made different changes to their cars to improve them. Building the car actually teaches you a lot really fun to get to, to drive around uh, some of these famous tracks. If we win, we win. If we lose, stems in. Just enjoy the moment. An amazing place and I can't wait to race. We've gone from 20 teams in West Sussex originally in 1999 to over 500 teams taking part UK wide and here today we have over 110 teams. The great thing about Green Power now is it expanded on a worldwide basis. We're seeing people here from America and people here from China all over the world. So it's, it started off very small, but it's certainly growing. We've got teams here from uh, the USA, Portugal, Poland and Ireland, so it's a good mix. I think I want to become an engineer. I'm pondering going on into the medical field as well. I think this will prepare me because I'm learning things that a lot of people wouldn't learn until university. My kid is, I wouldn't say he's naturally brilliant at sciences, but it has tweaked his interest in design. And obviously, you know, as a parent, I think that's something worth encouraging. I love coming to Green Power and just seeing the, all the effort being put in, the enthusiasm of the children who are here competing. And that's just infectious for those grown-ups here who are already in the world of engineering. Through the thrill of competition, all the other educational stuff, the learning points, just kind of just come in by a process of osmosis because what you're really focused on is, is your team winning. Winning the uh, Silver Line Corporate Challenge in the F24 Plus event is just fantastic. I've been doing it for 12 years and although I've won the championship before, I've never actually been able to win the final. It's ecstatic, we didn't think we were going to win. It's just a great accomplishment. It's really good for the whole team because we all helped and we've all driven. It's an extremely rewarding project, whatever capacity you're involved with. Um, certainly as a student, it can lead to great things in the future, careers in, in amazing uh, fields, whether it's Formula One, um, sustainable engineering. It is absolutely everything that the curriculum has for the science, technology, engineering and maths. Of course it's about the technology, but it's also about inspiring young kids to get involved in technology and engineering and work as a team. Green Power is really important for the future in terms of engineering. I mean, it's a great platform. It allows various different students to be a part of the car, do various different types of engineering on the car, be it electrical, mechanical, aerodynamic, CAD. There's various different niches that a student can pick and develop their skills, which is really important when they go out into industry. It grows the actual student themselves into a full rounded person because of the amount of skills that they're using. If you show them these cars and you show them what you can do with electric power and you show them racing around a race circuit, you build enthusiasm in them and uh, they take that back with them into the classroom. There are very few better ways I can think of of promoting engineering 
technology and, and science for, for youngsters than green power.